What's up guys, your boy Virgo Deride, and welcome to episode 3 of Naruto Ninja Storm 4 Training with Virgo. And today we are actually going to talk about uh, partners, uh, mainly what to do with your partners in battle. So that would be, um, today we're going to talk about relays. Uh, and random little cancels and amazing things you can do. As you can see right there, I just did a shuriken cancel uh, with my partners. Literally something that you need to keep in mind. Uh, for those of you, especially those who are new to this game, um, you can pretty much cancel into your partner from anything. Uh, so the main utilization comes from calling in a support and then switching to that partner mid-support. Uh, and the second main utilization comes from comboing. So that's when you... You swing once or twice, you hit your opponent. Uh, let's say they sub out of the way or you're not, you don't have enough chakra to chakra dash back into them. You just immediately switch over to your next partner by pressing the uh, L1, uh, the, the right, left or right on the right analog stick. I know that's kind of confusing. Uh, one big thing you want to keep in mind is sometimes your partners can get mixed up on which side of the screen they are based on where you switched. So you need to keep in mind and be mindful uh, whenever you switch a few times. Just be mindful as to where your partners are located so you don't switch into the wrong one. I've had several games where I've, you know, called out the wrong support or even switched into the wrong support. Uh, the next thing you want to keep in mind, a lot of times when you call your partners in, it's to make your Russian safe. Uh, it's to make it as safe as possible. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys now during your uh, chakra dashes have encountered double jumps, double jumpers who will double jump over your chakra dash and then punish you for it. What you can do for that is you can A, call a partner out and uh, as you chakra dash to them and they double jump you, they're going to hit you, obviously. Your partner will rush in to save you. Now, the other thing you can also do is when you call your partner in for uh, after your opponent has double jumped or avoided you or done whatever, you can just as easily switch over to your partner and gain control of them, especially if they're doing like a one-shot jutsu. Um, next, the various cancels that I want to go over uh, in terms of what these guys actually do is what you're saying here um ninja moves and chakra dashes can be canceled into switching of partners and the good news with that is you can essentially throw a ninja at somebody which is always fun uh so basically you double tap x you can either switch uh or you can call in the support and then switch but uh it works every time just make sure your timing is on point you can also uh and this is very important you can also switch to a partner after tilts uh, now, granted, your tilt will immediately end, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the hits done from the tilt will end or, you know, the placement of where you are uh, will be lost to your partner or whatever. So I highly recommend that you try all of these things out. Uh, also, keep in mind, um, outside of chakra dashing, if your opponent decides to, uh, to uh, block, you can, you know, switch over and immediately jump into a guard break. Uh, and there's just a lot of options that you can do. So what I want you guys to do is uh, just look at some of the things that I'm doing here. Try to explore your options. And mind you, with different partners. Uh, I also want you to keep in mind that with certain jutsus, it does benefit to switch into that jutsu if you know what's going to connect. For example, anybody with a Russian jutsu such as a Rasengan or a, uh, a Chidori, a Lightning Blade, anything that goes into a little mini cinematic. If you switch over to the, to the character using that move, you will get the full damage off of it. When it's used as a support move, you don't get all the full damage off of it. So uh, a lot of times, I'm pretty sure in this video, you've seen me you know, switch into Minotoad doing his Rasengan, and then it goes into the cinematic. That's because I fully switched over to him. So uh, like I said, guys, you all give it a try. Let me know what you think. Let me know if this was helpful to you at all. I will be going into, uh, for 3.5, uh, partner selection and how to choose your partners for what teams and for what weaknesses and strengths, but that's all going to come later. But right, for right now, I want you guys to learn how to utilize your partners, how to combo with your partners, and to figure out what to do before we try to go into specific combos. So, uh, as always, my life is a chip in your pal. Peace out. Like groceries, tatsumaks, and pukyak, and a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> oh, yeah, that combo was pretty cool, too.